The anticipation surrounding Samsung's Galaxy S25 lineup has been building for months, but a recent development has taken things to the next level. For those of us who have been eagerly following the rumors, there's finally some solid evidence to back them up. Could it be true that every Galaxy S25 model, regardless of region, will be powered by the highly anticipated Snapdragon 8 Elite chipset? Up until now, rumors have been swirling about Samsung's decision to equip all models in the Galaxy S25 series with this powerhouse processor, but we've all been hesitant to get too excited. After all, it's easy to get carried away with speculation only to have our hopes dash when the final product is revealed. However, a recent discovery has shifted the conversation from rumor to reality. For the first time, we've seen the international variant of the Galaxy S25 powered by the Snapdragon 8 Elite chip appear on the Geekbench benchmark database. This is significant, as we've previously only seen the Korean or United States versions of the Galaxy S25 models listed. What's even more promising is the timing of this discovery. With the official announcement of the Galaxy S25 lineup just around the corner, less than a month away, it's safe to say that Samsung is gearing up for a global release featuring the Snapdragon 8 Elite chip. It's important to note that we're not completely out of the woods yet. Just weeks ago, the Galaxy S25 Plus model was spotted on Geekbench, but it was equipped with the Exynos 2500 chipset, which led to a bit of confusion and further fueled the debate about what we can expect from the international models. While this variant of the Galaxy S25 Plus had its own set of specifications, this new benchmark for the base Galaxy S25 brings us much closer to confirming the presence of the Snapdragon 8 Elite in every model, regardless of where you're located. The significance of this leak extends beyond just the chipset. The Geekbench listing also reveals that the tested device had 12GB of RAM, which aligns with previous rumors suggesting that Samsung is setting 12GB of RAM as the standard for all Galaxy S25 models. If these rumors hold true, we could be looking at a major leap in performance and multitasking capabilities across the board, providing users with a smoother, more powerful experience. Looking at the bigger picture, Samsung's move to standardize the Snapdragon 8 Elite chipset across all Galaxy S25 models makes a lot of sense. By offering the same high-performance processor in every variant, regardless of region, Samsung ensures that all users can enjoy the same cutting-edge features, whether they're in North America, Europe, or Asia. This is a shift from the past, where different regions often receive different chipsets, leading to disparities in performance between models. This is exciting news not just for tech enthusiasts, but also for Samsung fans around the world who have long been hoping for a consistent experience across the entire Galaxy S series. With the Galaxy S25, Samsung is seemingly making a bold statement. They're ready to offer top-tier performance to every user, no matter where they are. As we count down the days to the official unveiling of the Galaxy S25 lineup, one thing is clear. The Snapdragon 8 Elite chip is set to be the heart of Samsung's flagship devices, and the 12GB of RAM will only elevate the experience further. While we can't say for certain that every rumor will turn out to be true, the evidence we have now points to a very promising future for the Galaxy S25 series. The smartphone industry is constantly evolving, with each new year bringing us flagship devices that push the boundaries of technology and design. In this video, we'll be taking a close look at the two biggest names in the smartphone world right now. Apple's iPhone 16 Pro Max and Samsung's Galaxy S24 Ultra. Both phones are powerhouses in their own right, but how do they stack up against each other? Let's dive into the battle of the bigs. Design and size, as expected, Apple's iPhone 16 Pro Max doesn't deviate much from its predecessor when it comes to design. The rectangular shape, soft corners, flat sides, and dynamic island pill shaped cutout remain. This year, however, the screen has grown from 6.7 inches to a massive 6.9 inches, making it the largest display ever on an iPhone. Its bezels are even thinner, but the overall dimensions have changed slightly, measuring 163 millimeters by 77.6 millimeters. In comparison, the Galaxy S24 Ultra is slightly smaller at 162.3 millimeters in height, but a bit wider at 79 millimeters, making it easier to handle for users who love to use the S Pen for sketching or taking notes. Speaking of the S Pen, Samsung once again offers the stylus nestled into the bottom of the Galaxy S24 Ultra. It's a feature that remains unique to Samsung in the flagship market and one that many users either love or ignore completely. The precision of the S Pen, developed in partnership with Wacom, is something to be admired, making it a fantastic tool for creative tasks. Apple, on the other hand, introduces some new tricks with its buttons. The Action Button, which debuted in the iPhone 15 Pro series, returns, offering customizable functions for launching apps or activating Siri shortcuts. But the real star of the show is the new Camera Control Button. 
This physical key, equipped with a capacitive surface, allows users to control the camera with a swipe, much like a traditional camera shutter button, enhancing the photography experience. Both phones come in sleek color options. The iPhone 16 Pro Max offers titanium finishes in white, black, natural, and the new desert titanium. Meanwhile, Samsung gives users a broader selection with titanium violet, yellow, black, and gray, and three exclusive colors if you order directly from Samsung's website. Display differences. When it comes to display, both phones boast impressive technology. The iPhone 16 Pro Max features a 6.9-inch LED panel with a 120Hz refresh rate and an always-on display that can drop its refresh rate to just 1Hz, keeping your wallpaper or photos visible even when the phone is asleep. Samsung's Galaxy S24 Ultra comes equipped with its signature AMOLED screen, also featuring a 120Hz refresh rate and an always-on display. However, Samsung has a slight edge here with its anti-reflective coating, which makes the screen much easier to see outdoors. In contrast, the iPhone struggles with reflections in bright sunlight despite its high brightness. Color accuracy is another area where the two phones differ slightly. The iPhone's display leans towards a yellowish hue, while the Galaxy has a bit of a teal tint. But with both phones offering blue light filters and adaptive color calibration, these differences are minimal in day-to-day -day use. One new feature for the iPhone 16 Pro Max is its ability to drop to an incredibly low one-nit brightness level, making it easier on the eyes in dark environments. Samsung's display already hovers around this level, so both phones are excellent for nighttime use, performance, and software. Under the hood, the iPhone 16 Pro Max is powered by Apple's latest 18 Pro chip, built on a second-gen 3 nanometer process by TSMC. This cutting-edge chip brings significant improvements in performance and efficiency, particularly when it comes to handling heavy tasks like gaming and AI-driven processes. Apple has also focused on better heat dissipation, addressing the overheating issues that plagued the A17 Pro chip. The Galaxy S24 Ultra, on the other hand, is powered by the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 3, specifically tuned for Samsung devices. While both chips are incredibly powerful, benchmarks show that Apple's A18 Pro takes the lead in CPU performance. However, in 3D graphics tests, the Galaxy S24 Ultra isn't far behind, offering stellar gaming performance. Both Apple and Samsung are pushing into the realm of AI, with dedicated NPU cores to handle AI tasks. The iPhone 16 Pro Max comes with Apple Intelligence, which will roll out new features gradually, while the Galaxy S24 Ultra already boasts AI-powered features like live translation, generative image editing, and transcript summaries. As for software, the iPhone runs iOS, which has seen some welcome changes this year, bringing it closer to the flexibility of Android. You can now place app icons anywhere on the home screen and even customize their colors. But if customization is what you're after, Samsung's One UI still reigns supreme with features like split-screen multitasking, themes, and more. Samsung has also stepped up its software update game, promising seven years of updates for the Galaxy S24 Ultra compared to Apple's five-year commitment for the iPhone. Camera Capabilities Apple has made some significant upgrades to the cameras on the iPhone 16 Pro Max, particularly the ultra-wide camera, which now features a 48-megapixel sensor. The main camera remains at 48-megapixel, and the 5X telephoto camera comes with a 12-megapixel sensor. A new lens coating helps reduce the lens flare issue that has been prevalent in recent iPhone models, especially during night shots. Samsung, as always, is pushing the envelope with its camera hardware. The Galaxy S24 Ultra boasts a hopping 200-megapixel main camera alongside a 12-megapixel ultra-wide, a 10-megapixel 3X telephoto, and a 50-megapixel 5X zoom camera. While the megapixel count might seem impressive, the real magic happens in post-processing. Both phones have excellent cameras, but Samsung has a slight edge in zoom performance, while the iPhone tends to over-sharpen fine details like leaves or grass. In low-light conditions, both phones perform admirably, but the iPhone's new lens coating helps reduce the flare and artifacts that can appear in night photos. Samsung, on the other hand, continues to struggle slightly with oversaturated greens in its images, but this is only noticeable when directly comparing photos side by side, battery and charging. When it comes to battery life, both phones pack a punch. The iPhone 16 Pro Max has a 4,685 mAh battery, while the Galaxy S24 Ultra comes with a slightly larger 5,000 mAh battery. However, Samsung takes the lead in charging speeds, offering 45 watt wired charging compared to the iPhone's 20 watt. For wireless charging, Apple's MagSafe offers 25 watt, while Samsung's wireless charging maxes out at 15 watt. 
Conclusion. So, which phone is the better choice? It's a tough call. The iPhone 16 Pro Max impresses with its sleek design, powerful A18 Pro chip, and improved cameras, while the Galaxy S24 Ultra excels with its S Pen, higher megapixel count, and faster charging speeds. Ultimately, it comes down to personal preference and whether you're more entrenched in Apple's ecosystem or Samsung's Android world. Either way, you're getting a top-tier smartphone that won't disappoint. What do you think about it? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. Until then, take care, goodbye.